In an attempt to portray his former personal attorney and fixer Michael Cohen as a liar, President Donald Trump ended up identifying himself a key witness in the federal case. Trump has been attacking Cohen again, tweeting on Friday morning that his former lawyer lied to Congress when he said he never asked for a presidential pardon. According to legal expert Ross Garber, tweeting on this matter was beyond ill-advised for the president, law, and crime reported. When Cohen, who is set to begin serving a three-year prison sentence in May, publicly testified before the House Oversight Committee on February 27, he stated that he had no interest in a presidential pardon from Trump for any of the crimes he has pleaded guilty to and had not asked him for one. Trump's tweet targeted this claim directly bad lawyer and fraudster Michael Cohen said under sworn testimony that he never asked for a pardon. His lawyers totally contradicted him. He lied. Additionally, he directly asked me for a pardon, Trump tweeted. I said no. He lied again. He also badly wanted to work at the White House. He lied, the president added. But in an official statement on Thursday, Cohen's attorney, Lanny Davis, tried to make clear that he is not contradicting his client. Davis stated that after July 2, 2018, Mr. Cohen authorized me as a new lawyer to say publicly Mr. Cohen would never accept a pardon from President Trump even if offered. That continues to be the case and his statement at the oversight hearing was true and consistent with his post-joint defense agreement commitment to tell the truth. Davis told ABC News Cohen's claim to Congress was literally true because his client never asked President Trump for a pardon. His lawyer explored the disingenuous dangle repeatedly floated by Rudy Giuliani and Trump in one meeting and never followed up 